In recent days, social media has been abuzz with claims suggesting that Turkey is set to produce the S-80 submarine developed by the Spanish company Navantia under license. However, it is crucial to scrutinize the validity of such assertions. Currently, Turkey is actively engaged in two distinctive submarine projects. The first, known as the New Generation Submarine Project YTDP, is designed to construct six Rees-class submarines at the GLCK Naval Shipyard. Simultaneously, the second project, named MLDN, aims to produce Turkey's first indigenous submarine. Amidst these developments, a piece of content titled S-80 on its way to Turkey has emerged on a recent news site, claiming a collaboration between Turkey and Spain for the construction of the S-80 submarine in Turkey under Navantia's license. However, information from defense sources obtained by Savin Masanist Com disputes the claim that Turkey will produce S-80 submarines under license. As of now, there is no deviation from the existing plans for the supply and production of Turkish submarines. In summary, the National Defense Ministry and the Presidency of Defense Industry are actively involved in supplying new submarines through the new submarine type project and MLDEN. Additionally, ongoing modernization efforts led by the main contractor STM aim to sustain existing submarines and equip them with advanced capabilities. The new submarine type project, signed between the German company TKMS and the Presidency of Defense Industry SSB in 2011, involves the construction of six Rees-class submarines at the GLCK Naval Shipyard. The first of these, TCG Prez S300 with a high localization rate of about 80%, is expected to be delivered to the Turkish Navy Command this year. This submarine, along with others in its class, will introduce the Air Independent Propulsion System Ape technology to the Turkish Navy. TCG Hizir's S331 is scheduled for 2024. TCG Muriters S332 for 2025, TCG Diners S333 for 2026, TCG Sedalers S334 for 2027, and TCG Selmaners S335 is expected to be in inventory by 2027. Moving to the MLDN project which is essentially a customized version of the national ship project MLGEM. Adapted for submarines, design activities have recently commenced within the Turkish Navy Command. With MLDEN, Turkey aims to design and produce submarine platforms with a domestic and national status for the first time. It is envisioned as a diesel-electric submarine with a displacement weight of around 2,700 tons a length exceeding 80 meters, and an air-independent propulsion system. The first MLDEN submarine is anticipated to be delivered to the Turkish Navy Command before 2030. In contrast to existing submarines, MLDEN will feature more advanced sensors and carry a larger weapon payload. This signifies a leap towards domestic submarine production aligning with Turkey's strategic goal of establishing a robust and self-reliant submarine fleet. In conclusion, despite rumors circulating about Turkey producing S-80 submarines under license, credible defense sources deny any such plans. The nation's focus remains steadfast on ongoing projects, notably the new submarine-type project and the promising MLDEN initiative as Turkey navigates towards a future characterized by a formidable and self-sufficient submarine fleet.